Hey guys, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Ooh, Moogle points, nice. Yeah, as you can see, I have about 434 now. And if I press select, most of the rooms here are made. I just need to do Tranquil Darkness, and I opened that room up. But I think that ended up with key to truth here in this one. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this one right here, which is key to beginnings. You can have something I don't really care about, which is like meeting, oh, meeting ground. You can, oh, you can have these too. Uh, t in two fives, I guess. There you go. See, I don't really need this. That's why like moments of preview is really important. Huh. Let's just go walk in here and walk into the laboratory, you know. Oh my god! This is a weird world. Allow me to introduce Dr. Finkelstein, the world famous genius. I've never heard of him. He's not world famous then, is he? Yes, maybe I'm too smart. Well, that didn't sound arrogant at all. Gosh, what's that? That's a paper towel, dude. Well, have you ever stopped to think about true memories? Um, no, I don't. True memories? What is that? Well, I've never heard of it. Our hearts are full of memories, but not all of them reflect the truth. The heart isn't a recording device. Even important memories change with time. They warp or fade, leaving us but a shadow of what we hope to remember. You know, that's really touching it all, because what he's basically saying is that... When you, like, most of the memories that you try to remember, some of them may be the false memories you remember, like, that never really happened. So, say you were, you actually got an A in your test, but it was actually a B because you perceived that you got an A. It's one of those things that, like, mind's mind-boggling. I don't know, that's, I don't know. Basically, he devised a potion that, anyways. Does it work? Yeah, the potion? Well, that's the problem. I don't know if it does work. As soon as the doctor got a whiff of the potion, Heartless started popping up. I don't know why. Yeah, why did that? Huh. <laughs> sounds sounds like it was a total failure. No, it wasn't a failure. It's flawless, okay? But I just need another look at the potion to find out what went wrong, okay? It's not a failure. Unfortunately, it um, vanished. Maybe someone swiped it. I'm not sure. It must have been Sally. Jack, you got to find her and get my potion back. Leave it to me. Can I tag along? I mean, I don't know my way around here. Huh? Yeah, sure, whatever. I want to know more about these true memories that Doctor keeps mentioning. I mean, I might have them. Excellent! Uh, let's go find Sally then. Alright, let's go walk away. Walk away. Key to guidance. Alright, oh, pop the pumpkin up. Nothing there. Nothing here. Well, that was pretty cool. I mean, that was like parkour status right there. Now, I think if I go down here, I open up a mogul shop right here. Now, I'm gonna try to get, open up two more cards, two more card, blue card packs at least. Please be Cloud. One of you just be Cloud, I'll be amazing. Ah, oh my god. Well, Cure isn't that bad anyways. If I don't get Cloud, it's fine. Oh, that last one's gonna be a premium card. A one Blizzard premium card? That one sucked. Whatever, though. Okay, let's see where I need to get head through. Oh, down here. In this town we call home. Okay, uh... One red card, and a five and under card. See, that makes sense, right? And then key to guidance. There we go. Let's open up the door now, Sora. And yeah, that's a pretty nice looking hill, if you ask me. Well, that was like the worst count. Oh, it's frame lagging a little bit. There you are, Sally. I thought I'd find you here. Next to the graveyard, of course. Who are your friends? I mean, they don't look like us. They're interested in true memories. You have the potion, don't you? Oh, well, yeah, I do, but I'm not gonna let you have it. Oh, what the heck? Well, I will, actually. Could you give it back? I mean, Slorsh is already handing it over. I guess so, if you insist, but I'm afraid all the doctor did was smell it. And the Heartless appeared! What if someone drinks it? Then that means Heartless will appear in their belly, duh. Are you kidding? What could be more exciting? Yeah, uh, Jack is one of those people, like a curious cat or something. I'm worried, Jack. Isn't there another way? Another way to do this? Any ideas, Jack? I mean, sh seriously. I can't think of a thing. I can. Give it here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, crap! <laughs> what was that? What the heck? Oh, no, the potion! Dude, okay, if you really didn't see that, that was like the fastest person ever. A lot of gonna sneeze. Oh, no! <coughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to Oogie, I guess. Okay. God, I hate it when I sneeze like that. I mean, when I sneeze, it sounds like an elephant. But yeah, anyways, Jack, where are your miners? Won't you say bless you? I mean, I did. I'm just helping you put the potion to good use. 
You should thank me. Yeah, Oogie Boogie's one of my favorite, like, bad guys ever. He's so funny. He's one of those, like, people who's like, I don't know, he's just one of those chubby bad guys, I guess. Ah, poor Jack, he can't hold the candle to Oogie Boogie. Halloween Town isn't going to taste pain in despair beyond any nightmare. Mwahaha. Look at look at him right there. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> That's a jolly way out of there, I guess. Pain and despair. Oogie, you monster! Yeah, Oogie's like a pinata, I guess. Come on, Jack, we gotta go after him! And bless you, Beastie forever. Oh, thanks, Sora. Where's Sally gonna go? Oh, whatever, we got the key to truth! Alright. Uh, we don't really need to talk to a Moogle right now, so... I mean, all we need to do is just go to Key to Truth, right? But Moogle points are always welcome. I mean, they could be used later on, too, if you open another Moogle shop, so... That's a little tidbit there. A desert card? Three? I mean, that's better than the one freaking premium Blizzard card. I mean, who uses... Who would use that? Unless you're gonna use Blizzard, but still. Hit this tree? Nope. How about... Nothing there? Where is... No, that's not it. I think I go up. I have to go up. Alright, I mean, shoot. Alright, up. What the heck? Is he just staring at a wall right there? Haha! -ha, headshot! Alright, so I made this, uh... I made a new deck, basically. I added more attack cards, and this time I took out Simba, and added an extra... extra cure card, and a potion card, just in case. Now we're gonna go ahead and fight Oogie Boogie. Now Oogie Boogie is actually a pretty easy boss fight, but I'm just like thinking, hey, I actually need something way better. Uh, zero card, you can have a Thieving Darkness zero card. And key to truth. I mean, seriously though, like, what could Simba do during the battle? And you know, it doesn't hurt to add extra attack cards. Well anyways, what is this place? Oogie, hand over the potion now! No! You fools! Don't know when to quit, huh? Well, will say all this running all around, make me thirsty. <clears throat> Ow. Well, Oogie, no, don't do that. Oh, there's like something in my throat. Yes, there is. <clears throat> Dude, don't drink it. What the heck? Oh, no. Yeah, so I was like, why would you do that? Why? Ah, lip smacking good. Now I can awaken my true memories. Ha 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 ha. Ah, what's this? What? Something's walling up beside me! Something scary! Well, Pepto Bismol can fix that. Oogie, what's going on? No, get back! Stay away from me! Uh oh. So that means we just gotta fight him. Get away! You're you you are you you are scaring me! Oh, you're scaring me, dude. I mean you are Oogie Boogie. Now, okay, so to fight this monster, he's basically all you have to do is just Wait for him to throw the dice. You can't really get up to him unless all three of the cages are out. So wait for him to throw a dice in and then hit it as soon as you see it. So whenever you're ready, Oogie. Uh, okay, there we go. So just hit one of the dice right here. There we go. And he makes like the weirdest sound ever. Now all you gotta do is just hit one of the dice and after all three are done you can basically attack him. So that's why it's really simple. I mean, his dice is his only attack basically. And then look how much damage I do. I mean, seriously, there. Yeah. And yeah, there we go. I don't. I wonder what this does. I've never got a Mickey card here before. Oh, it just makes the cards go down. Oh, there you go. That was pretty simple. Oh, Cloud, come on! Yes, Cloud, yes! Haha. <laughs> Man, dude, your HP should be so low. I mean, I haven't even got damaged yet. Oh, dude, card broke me. All right, there we go. Well, whatever. Ah, I was gonna try to sneak attack it. Whoa, what is that? Ah. Uh, Oh, I thought I was not gonna get damaged. Just have ball bow spike. Yeah, did I just make sense there? I don't think so. Come on, dude, throw your dice now, please. I mean, you're just delaying the inevitable. Inevitable, dude. Oh, yeah, use Sonic Blade instead. Yeah, this is Sonic Blade, by the way. Make sure to press A every time you use it. But that was like the most useless Sonic Blade ever. Yeah, what I really don't like about Oogie Boogie is like you have to wait for his dice to pop down. So you actually either need a zero card or a card higher than his card. I think all his cards are are like sevens anyway, so. Okay, dude. There we go. Ooh, Jack. Oh, wait. Why was there a Goofy at the end? There we go, Jack. Keep it up. One more. Ah! Well, keep attacking him, Jack. Oh, shoot. Alright, dude. Oh, do I have a zero card? Yeah, there's a zero card right here. There we go. And another zero card. 
There we go. Let's go charge this up right now. Ah, uh, hold on, time out. And there we go. Hard broke him. Yeah, that would have been useful way earlier, Mickey, but anyways, we just defeated him. Yeah, dude, your tummy's gonna explode. That's like the most unsatisfying like death ever I've ever seen. I mean he just blew up from the inside. And yeah, Oogie Boogie's enemy card is actually pretty useful, so. Like, hopefully we'll get to use it a little while. Confound that Oogie Boogie, he drank nearly all of my precious potion. I mean, seriously, he didn't even save some for me. There are only a few drops left. Ah, uh, Sora, why don't you ask the dog if he can drink the rest? I mean, even though it's a couple drops, I'm sure it sounds disgusting. Yeah, just drink the rest, Sora, please. I don't know, Goofy. I don't think I want to. No, I better not. Why? What? Don't you want it? Too bad. It would have been a great experiment. I mean, on a human being. Now, Doctor, that's really horrible. No, Sally, shut up. Don't you want to find out your true memories? I mean, look at my expression on my face. Of course, not more than ever, but still. There's this guy. His name is Axel. I promised him I'd find the truth on my own. Yeah, I give him Donald just like, WHAT ARE YOU SERIOUS?! Yeah, there's definitely- he's definitely serious, you guys. I just understand when I inhaled the potion, Heartless appeared. And when Ogie drank it, he was overcome with fear. What could it mean? It means the potion was a failure, okay, Doc? Now shut up and, like, get on a different experiment already. No, I can't be wrong. Ogie must have found his true memories. Ha ha ha. Hmm, true memories must unbalance the heart and cause unpredictable changes within. Well, that's a good thing to say. Then what about me? What happens when my true memories awaken? I don't know, Sora. Hopefully nothing bad like what Oogie happened. I mean, he exploded. 